<laughs> just goosebumps and chills and a little bit of tears. It's insane. It's 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 just pictures don't do it justice, right? Like <laughs> growing up as a kid, my dad and uncle both had seventy-two blazers. Um, my dad had the uh, okra. My uncle had a red one. Um, unfortunately, at some point, my dad sold his, and kind of as a kid, I always wanted it. And I was out in Colorado seven years ago, just kind of bouncing around from brewery to brewery. And in between two different breweries, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a 72 Okra Blazer. And I had to pull in, and sure enough, they had a for sale sign in the back of it. It was a Sunday, nobody was there, so I took a picture, took a picture of the business, flew back to Chicago, called them the next day, and made a deal to go out there. My uncle and I took a trailer and truck out there, and literally picked it up, drove it straight back, and tucked it in the garage for seven years. And then finally my mom and uh, stepdad sold their business and had to get the blazer out of there. So we kind of got fire under our butts and said, let's start doing something with it. And so initially we were just gonna put some wheels and tires on it and, and drive it around as is. And then we learned that we needed to do some stuff to it. And oh, yeah. then it kind of spiraled into, all right, frame off. And we sandblasted, or powder, sandblasted powder coated the frame and all new suspension, all new tires, brakes, gas lines, new stoker, motor. Stoker motor? Uh, Ramjet 350 motor. Got it. Okay. With, um, New transmission and a nice. dual Borla exhaust out the back, um, and then just sitting on uh, Instagram and came across you guys, and I said, Let me "Give you a call and see if you'd be taking on this project." Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And I'm glad we did because it is. Okay. I'm, when I came in today, I just instantaneously goosebumps and little tears in my eyes because this is uh, more than a dream come true. So it's just come thank a long you. Way. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get it back and take the family around for you know, trips to the ice cream and. and <laughs> Yeah. Have fun the brewery. We'll hopefully do some car shows at the brewery once we get this oh, thing yeah. back. back. Yeah, yeah. And have fun with it. So it's a, it's a dream come true, and it's it's. I know it's been in good hands here. So thank you. Yeah, you bet. I don't know. So this explain, explain, explain to me this beer that you made for it. Yeah, we just did a beer, um, double dry hop, double IPA, raindrop drop top. Had to show off seventy two blades around it. That's awesome. So it's one of these labels that we've had for a long time. We're just waiting for the right hop to come in and do it. And, nice. Somewhat close. That's so cool. Uh, what's the name of your brewery in Chicago? Microphone Brewing. Yep, so obviously Mike he used to work in the music industry. Yep. Um, so I just combined the two passions of beer and, and my, my life and music. And here we are with Microphone Brewing. Nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. So right outside of uh, Chicago Elk Grove Village. Okay. Um, O'Hare. So it's mostly like a, it's like a bar, a restaurant? And we have a production facility in the back, and then I have two taste rooms at front, okay. plus a patio up front. So, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can come in, drink, see us brewing, see us packaging. Oh, great. Um, and drink on the spot with food trucks from time to time. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. We started with 4,000 square feet, now we got 12,000 square feet. Nice. So, rock and roll, and <laughs> doing it up. Living the dream with it. It's one of those things where we went from brewing in the basement, Yep. So then take it into a professional life and sure. now it's become our full life. So. Well, Chicago's got to be a perfect place to do it in. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of, uh, lot of thirsty drinkers in the Midwest, for sure. sure. So, but.